Hello everybody, welcome in to Watch Me Wednesday, episode number 93. So today is about a week before I leave for Quilt Market and I've been feverishly getting ready to go. Hey Laura, how are you? And um, it's kind of been, I've got a checklist and actually I meant to bring it over here because I don't typically do checklists, but it's a really, really good idea. How many of you do checklists? Um, I usually keep a mental list, but my friend Sarah was over last week and um, she was sewing and I was getting some sewing in too, but getting some things ready. And she said that I should get it out of my head and on paper. So I got it out of my head and she wrote it down on paper for me. So I've got this checklist going and I'm checking off things uh, so that I make sure that I get everything in for Quilt Market. Hey, Allison, how are you? So anyway, I've been busily getting things ready, checking off my list, kind of like Santa Claus. And I've also had um, some of my friends helping me out as well. Kyra is watching. Kyra is one of them. Um, yes, you do make lists and yeah. <laughs> Kyra is very organized, by the way. Um, but anyway, the checklist has been very helpful. So I kind of want to show you a few things that um, I've been doing as well as some of my friends have been helping me out with. And then I have a little special something that I'm going to share with you um, that's going to happen right here in my studio in a couple weeks. So anyway, the first thing I want to show you is something that Kyra helped me with. Um, the first thing I think I've shown you before, at least, or at least you've seen pictures of it. And I know the the mirror image isn't working, so bear with me. I'm sorry. Um, I did this banner for my booth for my ancient etchings fabric collection. And Kyra helped me with it because it was the first time I actually ever did the applique lettering um, on my embroidery. And this is uh, Vanessa Fromm's of fabric confetti. This is her uh, lettering design. It's called Elemental P. And we use them with my fabrics to create this banner that will hang in my booth. So you can see I actually have the binding sewed on. From the front, I just have to turn it around. And I'm going to actually do the little glue trick that I showed you a couple weeks ago in the video. So you'll have to take a look at that video if you're wondering. So I do have to sew it down to the back side, but I got a little glue trick. So you go back and watch that video. So that's one of the things she helped me with. The other thing she helped me with for Quilt Market is I'm making a llama pillow, llama, llama, llama. And she actually took this one home and stitched this out for me because I did not have the time to devote on my embroidery machine to do it because I was busy quilting or making quilt labels on the backs of my quilts, quilting quilts, um, and also other decorative items for my booth. So thank you, Kyra. She did an awesome job. This is going to become a pillow. And I'm going to be going out and I got to get a rectangular pillow form. And I also thought that I'd get some decorative pom-pom, colorful pom-pom to go around the edge of it. So that will sit in my booth because if you're wondering why I'm doing llamas, so the, the collection is called Ancient Etchings and several of the fabrics, um, let's see if I can find here, several of the fabrics, see the orange one, it has little llamas. So I did designs with llamas. This one, the llamas kind of cut off, but you can see them there. So the, the it's got llamas in it. So llamas are Pretty indi indigenous to Peru, so that's why I did some llamas in the fabric line. So those are two things, and my good friend Stella, who lives two doors down from me, she asked if there was anything that she could do to help, and, and Stella doesn't sew, but she was willing to help me out, and so I asked her, I said, do you want to do a little no-sew project? So she did for me. So see these? Ooh. It, it, they're um, like, it's like a fabric bunting kind of that we're gonna hang hang on, in my booth so see they're gonna hang from the top of the booth so it'll be nice and colorful and festive and I did a tutorial on how to do this a couple weeks ago too I can put the links for both tutorials the little binding tip and for the um, 
fabric, the no sew fabric bunting um, in above my head when I'm done. So Stella was fabulous. She did these, I think, while she was watching TV. And I actually just posted a picture earlier of me wearing them around my neck because I was channeling my inner llama. So um, that's some of the help that I've had. Some of the other things that I've been doing, and I wanted to show you a couple quilts that came back to me. Um, oh, oh, here's one of the things that I was doing. So here's another tutorial that I did that, um, where are the other, hmm, what did I do with them? My other plates. Anyway, I did a decoupage video, and some of you may have seen it, and I used um, glass, clear glass um, salad plates, and I decoupaged some K-facet fabrics, but I wanted to, the idea came from my friend Lisa, um, who's coming to Quilt Market with me. She helps me out at Quilt Market, and I can't I thank her enough. Anyway, she said, you should decoupage a candy bowl to put in your booth with your ancient etchings fabric. So that's exactly what I did. I decoupaged this bowl just a couple days ago and um, I just have to put another coat of the decoupage around the backside, um, but the, the candy will go in here. It's so much fun and it's so bright and cheerful. And I'll put the tutorial for doing this up above me too when I'm done. Um, so that you can do one too. I just did a scrappy one. You can do one piece of fabric if you want. Oh, Linda, you love your plates? Plates? I'm so glad you did it. Isn't the bowl awesome? So I got the bowl. Um, you can get them pretty much anywhere, but I think I got this one on Amazon. Um, so you can get different sizes, but it's kind of cool that you can do that. And you, like I said, you can do pieces of fabric like I did because I wanted to show off the entire collection. Um, or you could just do one piece of fabric. So if you have a really pretty, pretty piece of fabric, you can do that. A um, couple other things that um, this is going to be up on my website soon. Um, my newest pattern. Um, and the other one was supposed to be here. It just got shipped. But I need my patterns before I go to market. This pattern, Into the Wind, just came in. And it will be up on my site for you to purchase. Obviously, the fabrics won't be there, but you can use any fabrics for this. It's a great pattern. I'll be teaching this at Quilt Market as well. So that's pretty fun. So I'm, I still gotta get pattern stuff, but I'm checking off my list, right? We need to make checklists. So this is a big um, learning curve for me to make my checklist. Now, I wanna show you a couple quilts that came back to me, which I think that you'll like, I hope. So this one came back to me. This one I did, I designed the pattern for my Feline Fine collection, but it would look great in anything. This one's called Hashtag. So it's, and it's gonna be hard for you to see, but it's a big H, okay? It's a big, big H made up of little H's, so which are hashtags, I should say. It's a big hashtag made up of little hashtags, so you can kind of see. And it was really fun to make. Um, Nedra made, I think Nedra made this one for me. Um, yep, yeah. so this is another thing I've been doing. I've been doing um, embroidering out labels too. So Nedra pieced this one for me. And for those of you who didn't get a chance to get this fabric of mine, I still have some feline fine fabric left, not a lot, but this was one of my favorite in my feline fine collection. It was my multi uh, print and I really love it. So I use it on the back on this, but this is my hashtag quilt. This came back to live at home and the pattern is available on my site. Now, the other announcement that I have to make, and if you've been watching me or following me, I was busy cutting um, fabric yesterday from my Electric Desert collection. And isn't that pile of fabrics just mm, yummy, yummy, yummy? Um, so I love my Electric Desert collection. If you like purples and pinks and turquoises and coppers, um, it's just uh, that kind of collection. It, it's a textural collection. Um, lots and lots of textures in the fabrics. So um, I can give you kind of sneak peeks of some of them. It is, it's been on my website for a little while. So you can definitely order them. This one's a prickly pear, like in copper. This one is a hedgehog cactus, just for texture. It's paint, uh, purple, 
Um, I have them in lots of different colorways too, which is cool. This one is another one of the um, prickly pears and um, it's in just that different color. And then this one I love because I did this one in a lot of different colorways. This one here is actually, when I designed this, this is an actual picture that I took um, when I was hiking in the desert. It is a picture of uh, the the ground. Uh, when it rains here, it doesn't rain for very long and the rain doesn't have very far to go, but it um, the ground dries really quickly and then it cracks just like so, okay? And I did this colorway, which I absolutely love. And then I did this colorway, right? And then this one here is an agave, a Queen Victoria agave. It almost looks like a dahlia, but that I took, I snapped a photo of one we actually have out here in a pot. And I took it from the um, top down, so it kind of looks like a dahlia. It's really cool. And... These are, I'm just showing you some of these. This is the hedgehog cactus again, so it gives you texture, but it's in that turquoise and that mauve color. I love doing the colors on this collection because they, um, I pulled the colors from the sunset, the desert sunset. Here's some turquoise, if you're a turquoise lover, turquoise prickly pear. Here's my cracked ground in the um, turquoise and a little bit of the lilac color. And then here's another agave, which also looks like a flower with turquoise with some purple. And here's that cracked ground again, but it's in the um, violet and a lilac color. And then the agave, I have another agave one with this, the lilac color. So I've been cutting these up, and then here's the agave in the dark purple, if you're looking for a good dark. Hedgehog cactus, love the pink, love, love, love the pink. How many of you are pink lovers? I absolutely adore pink. I absolutely adore pink. Here's the Queen Victoria agave in the pink. Oh, guess what? My laundry's done, timer's done. Okay, then, my cracked ground again in this beautiful um, wine color. And I actually, when I was in Hawaii teaching on the cruise, one of the shops had this in Hawaii. I was so excited to see it there. And then I have this saguaro cactus, which you really can't tell it's a cactus. Um, it's until you look at it real, real close, but it's great textural. So, but you ask, I'm sure you're asking, why was she cutting all these beautiful fabrics to put in this nice little pile, right? So, these fabrics all go into, let me show you, da 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 da. So here's the label for the quilt. My friend Lisa pieced the quilt top for me. Um, and this is a Judy Niemeyer pattern. It all went into this quilt, Solar Flares. So this quilt, yes, it's a Judy Niemeyer pattern and it is called Solar Flares and all of what you just saw is in this quilt. So it is a quilt kit, woohoo! It's a quilt kit and I only have three left already on my site. I'll put the link to it um, so that you can see. but. This quilt kit is ready to go. If you want this quilt, it was on the cover of the Island Boutique um, catalog for Spring Market. It is, I've had a lot of people asking me when that quilt was gonna be ready, or the quilt kit was gonna be ready. Here's one of them, and there's only three left. So if you want it, I'll put the link up above me. Um, so that's what I've been busy doing. Now, I told you, that I was gonna share something with you that is gonna kind of exciting to me and um, I'm looking forward to it when I get back from market. So this studio, my um, studio here, is gonna get a little bit of a makeover when I get back from quilt market. Yep, it's getting a makeover. So I'm gonna see if I can turn the camera around and 
It is a little messy right now because I'm in this quilt market mode. So you'll have to ignore the mess, okay? So I'm gonna turn it around. Let's see if I can do this without hitting the finish button. Um, whoops. Turn the camera around. There we go. Okay, so that right there, you're looking out one of my windows and that's into my courtyard. But if you see over here, there's the electric desert fabric that you can purchase by the yard. I have it stored there. But what's gonna happen is this entire wall all along there is gonna get custom cabinetry and sewing stations. I cannot wait. So my um, fabric that I sell will be in up against the wall all the way up to that where the um, valance is. So that'll be cool. And then I'll have sewing stations. I'll have three sewing stations. So um, I can have the embroidery machine going at one time. I can sit and sew and I can have somebody else sewing with me. I will have cabinets over here. Similarly, they'll go up to where the valance is and I'll have like a little nook for my TV because I do watch a little TV sometimes when I am in the room, especially like to watch the news. So that I am so excited about. It's gonna happen in a few weeks. So um, I have electricians coming in on Monday because they gotta put some extra outlets in here and up on the wall in, in there. Um, so that's gonna happen. It's gonna go down and I'm super excited. So when they come, when it's all done, um, I will have to give you that little tour of it. I'm so excited to have it done um, because right now I feel very disorganized. How many of you feel disorganized in your sewing room? Raise your hands or give me a like or give me a love. I feel disorganized. Don't you love the cat clocks? Those are one of my favorites. Um, so yeah. A lot of you say you feel disorganized in your studio. Um, it's it's kind of one of those things that can get a little, um, you just in this constant state of moving things around to kind of accommodate what you're doing at any given moment. And right now, that's the way I feel. And part of it, I think, is because of the quilt market prep. Um, add in a few 20 amp outlets that are dedicated for irons. It was the best thing ever. Yes, Maureen, that is what we're doing. You know, I'm so happy that you mentioned that. It's true. The electrician and I talked about it, and this room has its own circuit, but he's going to put in a couple extra circuits in here and um, the outlets to handle that. So I'm super excited about that. Um, awesome, Kyra. This on your to-do list too? It, it's a fabulous thing. I, at least I'm hoping it's going to be a fabulous thing. I can't tell you because I'm in here so many hours per day. It would be great to be organized. So I can't wait for the reveal to show you. And I will be taking still photos so you can see the before and the after. And let's cross our fingers that it's going to work and it's going to be good. I'm, I have the 3D photos. Um, that we sat down and designed, so I'm excited about it. Anyway, that's what I am up to. Next week, I will be back in for a Watch Me Wednesday because I don't leave until Thursday for Quilt Market, and I'm meeting up with my friend Lisa there who's gonna help me out, and I'm gonna see some a lot of old friends that I haven't seen in a long time and hopefully meet some new friends. If you're there at Quilt Market, make sure you stop at my booth. My booth number is 1920. And I'm also doing a schoolhouse and some take and teaches. I'd love to have you in my class. And from what I understand, one of my take and teach classes is sold out. And I am super excited about that. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, I wish you all a fabulous rest of the week. Be productive. Get things done like I'm going to right when I get off this video. And then I'll see you back in here next Wednesday for a short little live video, maybe a tutorial if I get around to it. And um, happy quilting, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.